The Targumim singular, Targum. Hebrew, Turgum were spoken paraphrases, explanations and expansions of the Jewish scriptures also called the Tanakh that a rabbi would give in the common language of the listeners, which was then often Aramaic. That had become necessary near the end of the 1st century BCE, as the common language was in transition and Hebrew was used for little more than schooling and worship. The noun, Targum, is derived from the early Semitic quadriliteral root Trgm, and the Akkadian term Targumanu refers to translator, interpreter. It occurs in the Hebrew Bible in Ezra chapter 4 verse 7. And the writing of the letter was written in the Syrian tongue and interpreted Turgum in the Syrian tongue. Besides denoting the translations of the Bible, the term Targum also denote the oral rendering of Bible lections in synagogue, while the translator of the Bible was simply called Hamadurgem, he who translates. Other than the meaning, translate, the verb Turgum also means to explain. The word Targum refers to translation, an argumentation or explanation. Writing down the Targum was prohibited, nevertheless, some Targumatic writings appeared as early as the middle of the 1st century CE. They were then not recognized as authoritative by the religious leaders, however. Some subsequent Jewish traditions beginning with the Babylonian Jews accepted the written Targumum as authoritative, and eventually, it became a matter of debate. Today, only Jews from the Republic of Yemen continue to use the Targumum liturgically. As translations, the Targumim largely reflect Midrashic interpretation of the Tanakh from the time they were written and are notable for eschewing anthropomorphisms in favor of allegorical readings. Maimonides, for one, notes this often in the Guide for the Perplexed, that is true both for those Targumim that are fairly literal as well as for those that contain many Midrashic expansions. In 1541, Elia Levita wrote and published Sefer Medergman, explaining all the Aramaic words found in the Targum. An Aramaic Bible is also used in the Syriac Church. In addition, Targumim are used today as sources in text critical editions of the Bible. BHS refers to them with the abbreviation. Two major genres The two most important Targumim for liturgical purposes are Targum Onkelos on the Torah written law, Targum Jonathan ben Uziel on the Nevi'im prophets These two Targumim are mentioned in the Babylonian Talmud as Targum Dilan, our Targum, giving them official status. In the synagogues of Talmudic times, Targum Onkelos was read alternately with the Torah, verse by verse, and Targum Jonathan was read alternately with the selection from Nevi'im i.e., the Haftarah. This custom continues today in Yemenite Jewish synagogues. The Yemenite Jews are the only Jewish community to continue the use of Targum as liturgical text, as well as to preserve a living tradition of pronunciation for the Aramaic of the Targumim according to a Babylonian dialect. Besides its public function in the synagogue, the Babylonian Talmud also mentions Targum in the context of a personal study requirement. A person should always review his portions of scripture along with the community, reading the scripture twice and the Targum once." Barakat 8ab. This too refers to Targum Onkelos on the public Torah reading and to Targum Jonathan on the Haftaro from Nevi'im. Medieval biblical manuscripts of the Tiberian Mesora sometimes contain the Hebrew text interpolated, verse by verse, with the Targumim. This scribal practice has its roots both in the public reading of the Targum and in the private study requirement. The two official Targumim are considered Eastern Babylonian. Nevertheless, scholars believe they too originated in the land of Israel because of a strong linguistic substratum of Western Aramaic. Though these Targumim were later Orientalist, the substratum belying their origins still remains. In post-Talmudic times, when most Jewish communities had ceased speaking Aramaic, the public reading of Targum along with the Torah and Haftarah was abandoned in most communities, Yemen being a well-known exception. The private study requirement to review the Targum was never entirely relaxed, even when Jewish communities had largely ceased speaking Aramaic, and the Targum never ceased to be a major source for Jewish exegesis. For instance, it serves as a major source in the Torah commentary of Shlomo Yitzaki, Rashi and therefore has always been the standard fare for Ashkenazi French, Central European, and German Jews. For these reasons, Jewish editions of the Tanakh which include commentaries still almost always print the Targum alongside the text, in all Jewish communities. 
Nevertheless, later Halakhic authorities argued that the requirement to privately review the Targum might also be met by reading a translation in the current vernacular in place of the official Targum, or else by studying an important commentary containing Midrashic interpretation especially that of Rashi. Targum Ketuvim The Talmud explicitly states that no official Targumim were composed besides these two on Torah and Nevi'im alone, and that there is no official Targum to Ketuvim, the writings. An official Targum was in fact unnecessary for Ketuvim because its books played no fixed liturgical role. The Talmud Megillah 3a states the Targum of the Pentateuch was composed by Onkelos the proselyte from the mouths of R. Eliezer and R. Joshua. The Targum of the Prophets was composed by Jonathan ben Uziel under the guidance of Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi Jonathan B. Uziel was a disciple of Hillel, so he had traditions handed down from them Maharsha, and the land of Israel thereupon quaked over an area of 400 parasangs by 400 parasangs, and a bath coal heavenly voice came forth and exclaimed, Who is this that has revealed my secrets to mankind? Jonathan B. Uziel thereupon arose and said, It is I who have revealed thy secrets to mankind. It is fully known to thee that I have not done this for my own honor or for the honor of my father's house, but for thy honor El have done it, that dissension may not increase in Israel. He further sought to reveal by a targum the inner meaning of the hagiographa, but a bath coal went forth and said, Enough. What was the reason? Because the date of the Messiah is foretold in it. Quote dot. A possible reference to the end of the book of Daniel, but did Onkelos the proselyte compose the Targum to the Pentateuch? Has not R. Eka said, in the name of R. Hananel who had it from Rab, what is meant by the text, nay. 8, 8. And they read in the book, in the law of God, with an interpretation, and they gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading? And they read in the book, in the law of God, this indicates the Hebrew text, with an interpretation, this indicates the Targum which shows that the Targum dates back to the time of Ezra. Nevertheless, most books of Ketuvim with the exceptions of Daniel and Ezra-Nehemiah, which both contain Aramaic portions have Targumim, whose origin is mostly western land of Israel rather than eastern Babylonia. But for lack of a fixed place in the liturgy, they were poorly preserved and less well known. From Palestine, the tradition of Targum to Ketuvim made its way to Italy, and from there to medieval Ashkenaz and Sepharad. The Targumim of Psalms, Proverbs, and Job are generally treated as a unit, as are the Targumim of the Five Scrolls Esther has a longer, second Targum. As well, the Targum of Chronicles is quite late, possibly medieval, and is attributed to a Rabbi Joseph. <laughs> Other Targumim on the Torah There are also a variety of Western Targumim on the Torah, each of which was traditionally called Targum Yerushalmi, Jerusalem Targum. An important one of these was mistakenly labeled Targum Jonathan in later printed versions, though all medieval authorities refer to it by its correct name. The error crept in because of an abbreviation. The printer interpreted the abbreviation TY TY to stand for Targum Yonathan Targum Yountain instead of the correct Targum Yerushalmi. Targum Scholars refer to this Targum as Targum Pseudo Jonathan. To attribute this Targum to Jonathan ben Uziel flatly contradicts the Talmudic tradition, Megala 3a, which quite clearly attributes the Targum to Nevi'im alone to him, while stating that there is no official Targum to Ketuvim. In the same printed versions, a similar fragment Targum is correctly labeled as Targum Yerushalmi. The Western Targumim on the Torah, or Palestinian Targumim as they are also called, consist of three manuscript groups, Targum Neophyti, Fragment Targums, and Cairo Geniza Fragment Targums. Of these Targum Neophyti is by far the largest. It consists of 450 folios covering all books of the Pentateuch, with only a few damaged verses. The history of the manuscript begins 1587 when the censor Andrea de Monti d. 1587 bequeathed it to Hugo Boncompany, which presents an oddity, since Boncompany, better known as Pope Gregory XIII, died in 1585. The route of transmission may instead be by a certain Giovanni Paolo Eustachio Romano Neofito, before this de Monti had censored it by deleting most references to idolatry. 
In 1602 Boncompany's estate gave it to the Collegium Ecclesiasticum Adolescentium Neophytorum or Pia Domus Neophytorum, a college for converts from Judaism and Islam until 1886, when the Vatican bought it along with other manuscripts when the Collegium closed which is the reason for the manuscript's name and its designation. Unfortunately, it was then mistitled as a manuscript of Targum Onkelos until 1949, when Alejandro Diaz Macho noticed that it differed significantly from Targum Onkelos. It was translated and published during 1968-79, and has since been considered the most important of the Palestinian Targumum, as it is by far the most complete and, apparently, the earliest as well. The fragment Targums formerly known as Targum Yerushalmi II consist of a large number of fragments that have been divided into ten manuscripts. Of these p, v and l were first published in 1899 by M. Ginsberger, a, b, c, d, f and g in 1930 by P. Call and e in 1955 by A. Diaz Macho. Unfortunately, these manuscripts are all too fragmented to confirm what their purpose were, but they seem to be either the remains of a single complete targum or short variant readings of another targum. As a group, they often share theological views and with Targum Neophyti, which has led to the belief that they could be variant readings of that Targum. The Cairo Geniza fragment Targums originate from the Ben Ezra Synagogue's Geniza in Cairo. They share similarities with the fragment Targums in that they consist of a large number of fragmented manuscripts that have been collected in one Targum group. The manuscripts A and E are the oldest among the Palestinian Targum and have been dated to around the 7th century. Manuscripts C, E, H and Z contain only passages from Genesis, A from Exodus while MSB contain verses from both as well as from Deuteronomy. The Samaritan community has their own Targum to their text of the Torah. Other Targumim were also discovered among the Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs> Peshitta The Peshitta is the traditional Bible of Syriac-speaking Christians who speak several different dialects of Aramaic. The translation of the Peshitta is usually thought to be between 1 and 300 CE. See also Aaron ben Mordecai of Rodelheim References Tadmor, H. 1991. On the role of Aramaic in the Assyrian Empire. In M. Mori, H. Agawa and M. Yoshikawa, eds. Near Eastern Studies, dedicated to H. I. H. Prince Takahito Mikasa on the occasion of his 75th birthday. Wiesbaden, Harasovitz, pp. 419 to 426. Topic. External links. Topic. English translations of Targum Ecclesiastes in the Song of Songs and Koheleth, Christian David Ginsberg 1857, pages 503–519. Etheridge, John Wesley. Targum Pseudo Jonathan and Targum Onkelos. Newsletter for Targumic and Cognate Studies. Cook, Edward M. The Aramaic Targum to Psalms. Targum.info. Archived from the original on the 11th of December 2017. Treat, J.C. The Aramaic Targum to the Song of Songs Shir Hashirim. University of Pennsylvania. Levy, Samson H. The Aramaic Targum to Ruth. Targum.info. Brady, Christian Chris M. Targum Ruth in English. Targumen. The Aramaic Targum to Lamentations. Targum.info. Aramaic Targums the Aramaic text of Targum Onkelos and Samaritan Targum with a new English translation for each version and critical apparatus. Other sources on Targum Targum the Jewish Encyclopedia. The Comprehensive Aramaic Lexicon. HUC contains critical editions of all the Targumim along with lexical tools and grammatical analysis. Targum. Catholic Encyclopedia. New Advent. Fowler, Jose. The Targumim and Halakha. Article. Derisha, analyzing the status of the Targumim in Jewish law. Targum. New International Encyclopedia, 1905.